All right, this week let's take a look at how we can extend a background. When I say extending a background, I mean let's say you've got a product shot like I have here and you want to make the background larger, but you don't have any background area to work with. You either crop the photo or it's a stock photo, so you don't have this background. Well, we're going to take a look at a way you can do this. All you really need is some basic layers knowledge and some knowledge of using some of the selection tools as well. All right. And I would give credit where credit's due. I was in Scott Kelby's office right before Photoshop World, and he had to do something very similar to this. And he used a quick little trick. We talked about it, thought it'd be a good tutorial. So that's where this idea came from. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do here is make this background layer a regular layer. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and double click on the background layer, and that makes it a regular layer. Notice it's not locked anymore. Then I'm going to press Control or Command and the minus key just to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab the crop tool and I'm just going to draw a crop around the entire photo. I'm going to take the right side of this crop area, I'm just going to drag it to the right a little bit and then press the enter key. And what that's done is that it, it's extended the canvas area. So instead of choosing image canvas size to do this, I did it visually with the crop tool. Next, I'm going to take the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to draw a selection around the right side of the image. Now, I'm going to show you before I do this, I'm going to show you what doesn't work really well here. And that is, let's say you draw a selection around the right side, just a little sliver over it, and you do this little pixel stretch technique. You press Control or Command T, and then just drag that over, then press the Enter key. And if you look at it, see it kind of looks stretched. As I zoom in, you can even see it more. It doesn't look like the actual background. You can see the seam here. So that's an effect that may work sometimes for you, and if it works, great, but a lot of times it may not, so try this trick after that. All right, so now you're going to take the rectangular marquee tool, select a right side of the area here, right side of the background. Don't worry if you select some transparent pixels, it doesn't matter. And then choose Edit, Copy, and then choose Edit, Paste. And what this does is it pastes that area onto a new layer. Grab your Move tool, hold down the shift key and just drag it over to the right and then you can use your arrow keys to nudge it in. Now here's a problem, we'll zoom in a little bit. You can see a seam inside here. You see how these don't fit together well? Well here's the trick. Press Control or Command T, that brings up Free Transform. Right click or on the Mac, Control click right inside that bounding box. Press Flip Horizontal and then press the Enter key and now it fits right into place here. Then I'm going to merge these two layers together. I'm going to click once on the top one and make it active press Control or Command E, and that merges those two layers together, and then just repeat the same process. Select, instead of Edit Copy, I'm going to use the shortcut Control C, so Control C, and then Control V for Paste. Do the same thing, move it over, use my arrow keys to kind of nudge it into place here, and Control T, flip horizontal, and again, just kind of nudge it into place and then merge those two layers together with Control or Command E. So now we've got one layer with the background. And then the last step really is to just go ahead and add the text in or anything that you need to complete it. So I've already got some text that I created here and you can see it fits right inside here. And what we've done here is essentially we've extended the background when we really didn't have any background space to work with and we've made it work. We've made this work for the photo that we had. So that's an example of how you can use this. Let me show you another one here. And let's take a look at the original photo. The original photo started out like this, and it was just kind of a, a small shot of a guy sitting on some grass with a laptop and some trees. And what I've done is I've used the same techniques here, but kind of made it a much, much wider shot. So if you've got any need to make this a, a, a much wider shot, add some area on the side there, I use the same techniques. And you might just need to go in and play with the clone stamp just to get rid of any cloned areas. But essentially, I did the same steps that I did on the first image. I did it for this one, too. So that's about it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks.